You are so beautiful and I love you so much and I would build you a whole fantasy world if I could. You never talk never to me like that. that. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe because you don't do it first. Blood? Hi. Are you in the kitchen? I want an orange. Yeah, all we have are the baby ones. Will you bring it to me? Huh? One, one or I just want one. Okay. <laughs> Somebody watches TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you did that so fast. <laughs> he, did, he did do that so fast. Oh my god. I meant to pre-record it. I just haven't had time this week. How about I'm just a good boyfriend, you know? You I watch just... TikTok. Oh, and I can't just be a good boyfriend passing the boyfriend test. The it doesn't really count because he watches It just tastes TikTok. like salt. Your orange? No, he said the stew. I made stew today. Oh. Um... Sorry for the urgency of starting the episode. I was like, will you push record? Will you push record? Because I heard blood in the kitchen and I knew it was my only opportunity. Because <laughs> I didn't get to film it. Um, anyway, I, I this morning, I made stew and I put it in the crock pot because I was working on stream rewards all day today. And I was like, oh, it'll be so great because it'll be done by 6 o'clock. And I just went and added like the last ingredients and I had a bowl. And all of those ingredients, it's got like a pound of mushrooms in it. It just tastes like salt. That's really sad. I'm so sad because I was thinking, I thought it was going to be like this nice, like mushroom stew. I don't know that mushroom, I don't know if I would want just a mushroom stew, actually. I don't know that I'm into like mushrooms themselves. Have you ever had mushroom bisque? No. Oh, it's really yummy. Oh. Well, tragic. Um, I did record my boyfriend with the orange thing. Should we react to it here? Yeah. Okay. Can we do that, producer? I, uh, he is not, I, he, he has TikTok the app, but like does not use it. Um, Ludwig has definitely seen this. For the yeah. My boyfriend definitely so we will never has know. not. But um, I will test it on all the men in my life and come back soon. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Yeah. I, I bought tangerines specifically for this occasion. To test my boyfriend to see if I need to break up with him. I love women. Yeah, me too. I think it's We're super so... Fair. We need more hobbies, I think, as women. I think we're so fine and set, actually. And I think it's really fair and fine. Every month, there's a thing trending where it's like, if your boyfriend doesn't do this, break up break with him. Break up with him. Le you deserve and maybe better. we're just setting standards as like a uh, humanity society Did you see we're it? getting standards have you seen the trend where you put like put ketchup on the counter and then like see mm -hmm. if your boyfriend can clean it how sad is that so sad i saw a tiktok of a gay guy making fun of straight people because he was like this is so sad you guys like you have it so bad or making fun of straight girls he's like the bar is yeah. on the floor this is tragic for you it is yeah, it is tragic for us. Explanation. There is a TikTok trend now where, okay, it started with this girl hot sauce spilled on her counter. We should even explain, we should explain the orange one. We'll oh, explain yeah. the orange one after yours. Okay, no, you go. Catch the up. hot sauce one is girl spilled hot sauce on her counter. Her boyfriend got a paper towel, smeared it around, and then left it. And she was like, this is why I don't let my boyfriend clean things. He doesn't know how. And then everyone in the comments was like, that is not right like that is weaponized, weaponized incompetence, incompetence. Yeah. um and he knows how he to can clean. be taught yeah so then it started this trend where all these girls are putting like ketchup like squirting ketchup or Ew. hot sauce on their counter and being like do you know how to clean this up and then their boyfriends will clean it up and they'll be like ah see like he knows how to clean so i'm sad. so lucky <laughs> we're so pathetic <laughs> it's really sad it's really sad. Okay, you explain the really orange thing. Hobbies. Orange thing. Actually, can we can we react to the bad one? Oh, for people. Yeah, that's a good idea. I actually. It? Let me find it. I've never fully watched it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh. 
Okay, so the orange trend while she looks for it is this girl, it started with a girl who like wanted an orange and then she asked her boyfriend if he could peel it and I guess he freaked out and was like, peel your own orange. I think we're going to watch that. And then it turned into this trend where you ask your boyfriend, I want an orange, but will you peel it for me? And if they're like, yeah, no problem, then they're good. And if they say, no, peel your own orange, then you leave them forever. It's called the orange peel theory. Okay, I'm close. I found it. It's a stitch with what? So Cutie tested on Lead Today. I tested on my boyfriend this past week, and then she's going to test it on the Fear and Boys. The Fear and Boys, I feel, are all pretty chronically online. I only say that because we're all streamers, but they definitely yeah. know what this is. They definitely know what this I, is. and they're. I will say, whine about it, viewers. Don't leak it. Don't be those bitches, because I am going to do it. I don't... I do think Austin will see it. He's always on TikTok, but I also think he's on like Twink TikTok. So I don't think he may not have seen it. And I know Austin will be like, uh, yeah, I'll peel you an orange and like laugh and be like, what? Are you filming? And what? What? Like that'll be Austin's reaction. Yeah. And then Will Neff will like come over and like kiss me on the head and be like, anything for like, you, baby of course, girl. my lady. Yeah. Yeah. And then Hassan will be like, uh, yeah, wait, this is like that girl on Twitter, like, but her boyfriend was mean to her. Yeah, that is. That's what, well, this is. These are my guesses. Don't you bitches ruin it because it'll be a few weeks before I go back because I'm actually not on the next two episodes of Fear Ann because they pre recorded Drum! It's because they're fighting. Okay. Yeah, they kicked let's, me off. Let's watch this, the thing that started it all. 3 million likes. Really 25 million right views. Now. All right, try right here, but I got you, buddy. Here yep. you go. Don't get me it? No. Yeah. But like, I I really want it, but like, I hate peeling it. You hate peeling it? Yeah. Right, it just cool. gets really messy. Okay. Well, and I have nails. It'll get like underneath them. Tough luck, buddy. Go ahead and do her. You're not going to peel it for me? Dude, okay. As if I don't do enough. Seriously? Yeah. I'm being for real. Okay. You can't fucking peel this orange for me. Dude, I ask you to do things all the I time. I do everything. Do I just did your fucking laundry. No. And you can't peel this for me? Dude, come on, man. Seriously? No. He sounds like a really Figure annoying person. Figure your life character. out, dude. It's not all about what you're making. Figure your life it's out, dude. You yourself, he sounds right? like a no, but like moose. A good That's boyfriend would <laughs> peel this for me right. or like do something and for it, me that it, i'm perfectly capable of obviously i can peel this but like if and you a were a great boyfriend would tell you to do it yourself i'm not a good boyfriend i'm a great one and you i'm trying so to make will. you strong and independent and build you up as a female well that's the point that's i can do it i can do it myself I but like the point is that you would do it for me yeah as but, like an act of service then, but then you but then you wake up and you realize you know that you can actually just do it yourself and like you're not even that special that's the thing it's like get that in your skull dude like you're really not that special okay then this I'll is gotta be fake for myself then that's oh, how i feel oh, took you long enough i really i think it's got to be fake because there's no way she would react like that right no well, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't keep filming it and then post it if it was real. I would be like very yeah. tragically embarrassed. Yeah. There was okay. This is irrelevant because there was one orange peel theory that I thought was. No, you know what? It's not funny. I thought it was so funny. I was like laughing, and I was gonna send it to you, but I think it's because it was really late. And then I decided this is not funny. I'm not gonna send it to you. What was it? An orange peel thing? Yeah, it was a. I regret bringing it up because now I'm gonna have to. Now we're gonna have to watch it, and you're just gonna be like, "Yeah, no, this isn't funny." Well, I found this follow up to the one we just watched. Okay, so great. I think we'll do this that. will tell us if it was scripted or not. And then we'll watch the one that is not funny, but I thought was really funny the other night, like so funny. Dude, my cat is yelling in the room. Come on, let's let's, let's peel. Oh, I feel. Awful like, for speaking terribly to yeah, me. Yeah, like my insides are just like ripping apart. I just feel like I'm not even a man at this point, and like all the hate comments really have me thinking like I need to be better and just like. <laughs>
And like, you're a queen. Why didn't you peel it in the first place He's when I joking, asked? He's joking, right? I don't know. I think I was in a bad mood. It was just like, a bad day. Yeah, like, you kind of smelled really bad that day, so I was just kind of being mean. <laughs> now I'm peeling it for you because, like, you're and, and you're so special. That's the thing. It's like, I can't believe I even said that. Like, that must have been, like... Where did that come from? It must have been, like, an, it was like an out-of-body experience. I can't tell if they're both trolling or the he's trolling and she's yeah, really... Either. The devil yeah. came and got you. yeah. Do you know how many times I've heard that? Um, yeah, but look at me now. Like, this is proof that people can change and people can be like Ew, I hate everything you as want a person, them to be. I think. If you just give them a chance, like a second chance. I peeled it for you. You see it? I f he sucks. wanted it, dude. Mm -mm. This is for me. I peeled it for myself. It's what gotta be thin. Ain't no, this is a ain't weird no free shit around these parts. You gotta work for your food it's around here. It's weird. You can stop it, Space. I don't think there's more to see. This is a weird it's, double down. Yeah, it's if it's if it's fake, it's just like simply not funny. Yeah. I mean it like, farmed. I feel like he was trying to be funny there. Yeah. And it just like wasn't. So yeah, yeah, yeah. the point must be farming. But like, what is what a crazy thing to want to farm in when you're in a relationship, you know? Right. I I think. Like, hey, do you guys want to see how shitty my boyfriend is? Don't worry, it's fake. I can't, yeah, I can't tell. I mean, you also have to like. Some people like any attention, but also, I don't know if you really can like that unless you're like copiuming and you're like, I don't care what they think. Let's make them mad. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't like the I think. I don't like the vibes. The com the first the top comment is he gives off I punch walls and it's your fault I did it vibes. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah. But true. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, we hate him. Sorry, we're starting this episode reacting to TikToks. Get <laughs> gives off the like sorry. Maya thought this vibe. was funny. I thought this was so funny the other night, and it's so long, and it's it's probably just not funny. I, I think I just had okay. to go to bed. I sat there. I had it pasted in our text messages, and I was like, I'm not going to send this to her. It's not funny. Okay. Like, I'm embarrassed. Love me. I just think she's funny. Love me. What's up? What's up? Love me. What's up? What's up? What's going on? If I have an orange, can you peel it? I'm sorry? The orange. We peel it. Do you want me to go to the store and buy it. an orange? No! Will you peel the orange? Do you... Do you want me to... I'm so, I just I'm like so her lost. face. I like the way she store? emotes. I'll buy you the orange. Do you need an orange? Will you peel the orange? You want to peel it before I get in the house? Just cut it. This is my worst nightmare. I hate it. <laughs> Thank God I didn't send it to you. Thank God. Why? I hate that she's not speaking full sentences. I love her face and the way it moves, and I like the way she speaks. I like none of it. Okay. Well, respectfully. We gave it a we gave it a shot. <laughs> okay, now the final hurrah, Maya. Oh, yes, my test on my boyfriend. Wait. <laughs> I want an orange. An orange? A tangerine. Okay. But I don't want to peel it. <laughs> okay. Will you peel it? Yeah. Thanks. That's funny. There was a follow-up video. Anything? Wait, what did he say to that? He said, that's what I figured you wanted. And then there's a follow-up. Oh, at the end? Okay. Yeah. It... Yes. If I asked you for a tangerine and I did not ask you to peel it, and you brought it up here, you would have, you would peel it anyway? I was going to bring you a peeled tangerine. <laughs> Whoa! You, well, you, you lost that magic moment, so. Oh. But you do want oh. a tangerine. Yes, please. And you want it peeled. Yes. Can I have two? Yeah. He was gonna bring me a peeled tangerine because I don't have a trash can in my loft. Wow! But you ruined it. I did. Ruin you asked it. for it to be peeled. Yeah.
And then I told him <laughs> in between those two videos, I told him, I was like, this is for a, it's for a wine about a thing. And he was like, I was going to bring it to you anyway. You shouldn't have asked for it to be peeled. You ruined the oh, he, he was he was being content brained. He's like, oh, it'd be better content if I would have just brought it to you peeled. Perhaps. Wow. I respect him more than I ever have. Anyway, gals, apparently, if you want your your boyfriend to peel an orange for you, just take your voice up a few octaves <laughs> and talk quietly. I, That's what I did. My favorite, my favorite, um, my favorite TikTok account is that one that I send you every once in a while that's like this woman and she's like if you ask your boyfriend how his day is and he doesn't say better because you just said hi to me break up with him <laughs> that's so funny I i've never her. had she's a man favorite. say that ever to me no no i've never said that to anyone ever imagine maybe we should start i was just gonna say imagine if you called me and i said that imagine you're like hey what's up how are you and i was like better now that i'm talking to you <laughs> which is crazy because like dads say that and my dad has never said that. Me neither. So I don't know why I said that. But someone has said that in my life, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's from a movie. <laughs> maybe that's not real. I feel like maybe at like a bar in past. I feel like as a pickup, you could be like, how you doing? Better now that you're here. Like, sure. But I've never had someone casually yeah. say that to me. I had a thought the other day. How come I know yeah. the reason? How come OTV girls they when they interact with each other they're like you're so hot bark bark I'm on my knees. How come we're not like that? Because I'm closeted. <laughs> oh. And I don't want people to know. <laughs> no. No, I, I don't know. I thought about this because Tina Kitten, every once in a while, will just send me a message and be like, I love you. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. And so then I say, as a human would, love you too. But I would never, ever message someone and say, love you so much. Oh. I thought you were just going to say, love you too, to me. <laughs> no. I, I was like, that is also messed up. Well, I wouldn't do that unless you, like, needed it. But you would only... That's okay. mean. If I said, no. if I said, I love you, you wouldn't say, I love you too, unless you asked, do you need it first? Wait. No. No. I would say it. I guess. I wouldn't like it. But I don't think you would say, I love you, unless you needed it. Unless you I needed it. I would ask it. if you were going to kill yourself. If you texted me, I love you, I would freak out. <laughs> would not, so would you not ask me that if I sent that uh, randomly? If you said that randomly, I wouldn't, I, that wouldn't be my first thought with you. I'd that just would be, be like, I would, I would probably ask who has your phone or, or is this for a YouTube video? I would call you immediately and be like, where are you? Like, are you safe? <laughs> That's I would so be so scared. Funny. It's so funny. Yeah. Anyway, I, think I just want to be if more I send like, you like a long message. If you were going to kill yourself? No, like a, a long, like I love you message, like on your birthday or something. Is the only time I could see myself doing that, but you I would don't kill think yourself I would. on my birthday. Yeah. That's so. <laughs> that's crazy. That's super yeah, I'd do it on your birthday. <laughs> that's so selfish, actually. <laughs> Um, I just want to be like, I want to be like Quarter Jade and, uh, you'll never be like Quarter like Jade. Jamie. Okay. First of all, I can't think of a single thing. <laughs> yeah. That we have in common. Yeah. Uh, see, the difference is Quarter Jade could have come up with something. Uh, I just want to be like Quarter Jade and Jamie. And I want to have the kind of friendship where we hype each other up. We tell each other how hot we are. And how much we want to bang each other. Ugh, That's what you they... want us to have that friendship? Or you want to have that yep. friendship with somebody? I don't wanna... want to... <laughs> I want it. I want that with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, okay. 
Okay, yeah, low, no, uh, let's practice. Uh, say okay. it, say it get to me bathtub. now. Huh? Me? What? Yeah, get, get, get in the bathtub. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll be there in another room. Then you can get out and I'll, uh -huh. I'll scurry in there and I'll uh -huh. lay down on my stomach in the bathtub and I'll suck no. it out of the drain. No. <laughs> no. 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 We need to talk about that too, by the way. That's different than just hyping girls up. That oh, is... you're so, actually, you're super right. That's, I just wanted to hear like the sentence that you would leave on my Instagram post to be oh. like a hype girl, to be a hype girl friend. I didn't want you to suck out my bath water. Um, if you posted something hot on Instagram, then I would comment. Yeah. Um, uh, step on me. <laughs> that you lack originality. You know what would be better is if you literally said, I would suck your bath water out of the drains. You cannot pull my example that you said was bad. I know, but I just found a good way to phrase it. Oh. Where's a hot girl on? I'm going on Twitter I'll right now. I'll find one. Wait, I'm going to Quarter Jades. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how they talk to Do each it. other. No, you go and to then Quarter we're gonna Jades practice. and you type what we just typed. No. Why? She's going to think I'm weird. No. What do you mean? Dude, why is When did she so last slow? post though is the problem? If we're both commenting on She's been on posting a, post a lot. Selfies or Instagram? Or Twitter? Or on Instagram. Instagram. Let oh, me go boy. to her last like okay, hold on. We're doing Instagram? I'm looking at her Instagram comments. You are here. Celine. Okay. You are so beautiful and I love you so much and I would build you a whole fantasy world if I could. You never you talk never to me say like that. that. To me. Yeah, well, maybe because you don't do it first. <laughs> okay, wait. I want another one. Oh, this is good. She looks good here. Tina Kitten said, cute as heck. Where is... Where is it? Quarter Jade. She posted... Brooke AB. I am obsessed January with January 15th. Tina Kitten. You look so awesome. I love this. Leslie, the makeup, the outfit, everything is so good. City on. Where I love Cyborg J Jody. Where are you? Where are these comments? Just all of her pictures? No, I was looking at October. Oh, how'd you get to October? I just scrolled. Okay, so are you commenting on our last picture? No, I'm not commenting anything. I'm reading you. I'm Why? reading you their comments so you can learn how to speak. To I me. would suck your bath water out of a drain. Smiley face. Is that on her new, newest? Yes. How do I find your comment? There's, she's so famous. There's so many comments. I would suck. Okay, I'll, I'll reply. Mhm. Mm Me too. Smile. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay. Well, homework assignment done for the week. Sick. It's good exposure therapy. We'll do this with, with Quarter Jade for a while, and then we'll start doing it with each other. Great. I don't want to do that with each other. Okay. Well. It feels <laughs> weird. What do you mean? I don't, uh, you could start it, maybe, and then maybe I'll join. I'll think about it. Um, so you watch Saltburn. <laughs> yeah, we need to talk. Okay, start you guys over. remember? Was it in the YouTube episode or Patreon? I don't remember. Where you told me I don't to watch know. it. I don't remember day it is. You said, "Oh, it was so beautiful. It's so beautiful movie. So beautifully shot." Maya, you need to watch that. You should watch it. Is that how and I, I was like? That's the only context I gave. I that's don't believe what you said. that. said, and then and then really? I said, "Is it like a thriller?" And you're like, "Eh, no, not scary. It's just really beautifully shot." <laughs> I had to have given some more than that. I don't think you said anything about it being sexual. I had no idea there was anything sexual in nature in that you movie. You feel that... Do you think that movie sexual? Do I think that movie sexual? Yes, I do. Do you not? That's not... No. 
Excuse me? I think it's... Huh? Why? Good news for you, I'm a vampire. Fingers her and licks his fingers with her oh, menstrual yeah, blood on nasty. them? I closed my eyes during that part. Okay. It's also the called movie... a vagpire, so he should have... The That's writers funny. really should have. I've never heard that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, That movie, I, I don't know why you told me to watch that, and I'm classifying mm -hmm. it in my top 10 betrayals of all time. But, but, um, well, everybody's talking about it, and I didn't want you to show up to a gathering and not know what they're talking about. So actually helpful of me. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. It scarred me. It made me really uncomfy, and I didn't like it. Which part? <laughs> um, the, the vagpire part, number one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're a period shamer. Noted. The, uh, the really, like, dominant sex scene number two, where he just, like, jumps on the guy's bed, and he's like, behave. Didn't like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so you're kink shamer. The bathtub noted. scene. Uh-huh. Go ahead. What what am I shaming there? Being hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> and water waste. That would have just... Look, Maya, that would have just gone down a drain and he drank it instead. So really, he's reduced reusing and recycling. Okay. Check What about the grave scene? Well... <laughs> He, <laughs> well, he was, he was actually digging a hole for a mole. So he was helping our wildlife. That's crazy. <laughs> With his penis. Have you seen on TikTok that that scene was not scripted? Yeah, I don't know why he's proud of that. But no, okay, here's what. <laughs> I think okay. Apparently, okay. First of all, if you haven't watched Saltburn, don't. Why? Everyone's talking about it, and you'd be left out of this conversation we're having right now if you didn't talk. If you didn't watch it, it's it's very weird. It's very weird. It's very scarring, and it gave me nightmares. Anyway, oh, um, the grave scene. The grave scene. For those of you who have not seen the movie, spoiler alert. Um, boiler, boiler. He, this guy is romantically and sexually obsessed with this other guy who's not into him and doesn't know that he's obsessed with him. But he is the, hot, and so we all get it. The, the, <laughs> the stalker <laughs> then oh. kills him, kills the oh, guy. Yeah, that's not. I forgot he did that. We don't get it. Yeah, kills the guy, goes to his funeral, waits for his family to leave. And then has sex with the grave. He, there's nudity. He takes his pants off and he puts it in the soil, in the mm -hmm, grave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So people are talking about on TikTok or wherever that that's not a scripted scene. But I think what it is, is it wasn't written into the script, but they probably all like, you know. I don't know. I feel like a lot of things happen that aren't scripted in movies that they, like, talk about prior. I don't think he just, like, was filming and he was like, yeah, this feels right, and then just did it, and everyone was stand sitting there like, all right, like, let him go. I, I think, I feel like it was discussed. It had to have been. Essentially, this, I have insider information, as oh. in Hassan told me this. Oh. <laughs> but he knows people. He's famous. Right. Um, But he saw an article. Um. Where the director went to Barry, is his name, went to Barry and was like, okay, in this scene, you're going to lay on the grave and cry. But I feel like the character would go further than that. So go with it, essentially, is what she told him. And then he asked for everyone to leave. Like, he asked for a closed set, like, and then pulled out his dick and started fucking the ground. Admittedly, it fit his character very well. It did. I think he's pretty clever. He's pretty uh, committed. I wouldn't want to be around him in my life. Also, the end scene where he's dancing naked. I was thinking uh -huh. the whole time I was watching that, I was like, "You, this, this could not exist of me. It could not. Oh my God, right? You think about could like- Could you imagine watching that of yourself? No. 
But also, well, he's like people ripped. using it. Sorry. Is he? I think. I don't remember. I don't think he's ripped. I thought he was. But it's like, oh. it's like Ariana Grande's boyfriend is SpongeBob, but like way worse. You know how no, they can use no. that forever? Yeah, but there's nothing worse than the SpongeBob. <laughs> Have you seen the videos before you say this? Yes. Actually? I've seen Have you clips. watched one? Have, with sound? Yeah. Were you singing? With the sound. I don't recall. <laughs> I feel yeah, like then I have. you haven't heard it with sound. It is not... Have, did, having your dick out dancing to an iconic song is not worse than performing in Spongebob Broadway Live. I refuse. Okay. I'm standing on well, business here. Anyway, in in the con the concept of that existing and people being able to use that, see that forever mm -mm. oh i could never watch myself like that I, cringe 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 did you know that it's not a prosthetic piss <laughs> i'm like this usually usually they'll do prosthetic pieces that is his why dick. wait why Would why for privacy because yeah because actors don't want like their wiener out there okay is that yeah. crazy that was his don't you is that not? I that assumed not it was. I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing that it oh. was existed. So I was just like, yeah. You weren't impressed by it. No. Interesting. Should I have been? Yeah, it's so big. Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> His flaccid penis was weirdly large. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right in the dancing scene. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It was like hello. Maybe that's maybe he's fine with it for that reason. I don't know. Um, anyway, that movie was I, I, it was it you, it was beautifully shot. You are right. There were some shots in yeah. there that I was like, damn, like that's yeah. crazy. But uh, it wasn't worth it. They used their talent for evil. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. Well, uh, sorry. <laughs> I also hated the vampire scene. I did hate Hated that it. scene. Hated it. I, I'm a strong, I know maybe this isn't very feminist of me. I'm a strong believer of no sex on period. I, you know what? This sucks. I wish that I was the opposite so that we could have some balance. So that uh -huh. everyone thought it was fine if they're into it. If you're into it, you're, fu you're fine, but you're also fine. wild and crazy and free. I think it's fine. But I don't like it. But you can understand not you well you could too if you wanted to i mean like th them not me to the people out there you can do that if you want but put a towel down god don't don't on your you know on your bed yeah don't. i had to look away from that whole yeah it was really gross segment yeah it was really gross but it's a beautiful castle yeah, the castle was cool. Yeah. The castle was, was cool. The actor was really good. I Has he been in anything else? Because the last thing that I said when we were watching that movie, I was like, for me never having seen him before and this being like his first big, like he is good. I want to see. Um, He's an Irish actor. And man, I don't really like him, if I'm being honest. Really? Yeah, I don't know. He has to me, and this is a mean thing to say, but I'm prefacing it with being a mean thing to say, so then I can say it, I guess. Um, <laughs> is he's got like a punchable face to me. That is really mean. <laughs> I know. Why do you say that? Just like because the way he looks. Uh, is that like a you want to bully him, or like you would punch him if he said something he like provoked you? <laughs> He just looks like I want to punch him in the face. He's been in a lot of for movies. No, for nothing? For nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I feel bad for what I said then. People are going to be like, this accomplished actor? You did and this and this? I don't know. No, I, not like... Uh, I, I don't... Like, not a lot of movies you've seen. Like, it looks like he was in The Batman, which is is seen it's but seen. it says his role was un wait that's so weird it says he's in the batman 
the Batman. But his role in the Batman. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in a deleted scene. He it's his role in the Batman is unseen Arkham prisoner. <laughs> okay. So the most notable movie that I recognize is Batman and his scene got cut. No. That's sad. So that's unfortunate. Imagine doing all that oh, work and being so excited and then like what a year later finding out that it's getting cut. He was also in Dunkirk. Which I watched half that movie and then it stressed me out. Never heard of it. And then a lot of other movies that I have not heard of. So we'll see. This might be his big break. But also, I have a feeling he's going to be a bit um, typecasted. <laughs> what does that mean? Because he did such... It means like... Oh, um, he's going to be a creep forever? Yeah. Like, think about like... Okay. Imagine him being you a know, father in another movie. Exactly. Yeah, like, everyone would be like, so, oh, no. Cer the actress that plays Cersei Lannister in yeah. uh, Game of Thrones, like she like has said that it's been harder for her to get jobs. Like or like Megan Fox was just cap typecasted as hot bitch, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I saw her or, in MGK at the airport once. Did I tell you that? That's so funny. No. Yeah, I was right behind them in security, and they had one guy that I think might have been security with them. Maybe I couldn't uh -huh. even tell. Um, but they were going through normal security right in front of me and then they went and got like einstein's bagels was megan fox just so beautiful she's gorgeous very short though like a lot smaller yeah. than i expected and he's very tall dude you want to know the funniest thing in the world hmm. so one time taylor and i went to sundance film festival it's a film festival in utah and uh we were going there for something with work i don't really remember why but then it like was happening simultaneously at the same time and we had some clients there and so they were like we have tickets and so essentially we got these like full passes to go to all of these movies at sundance it was so cool and um we saw the movie that him and pete davidson are in it was pretty good it was uh crap it's gonna bother me um Why is everyone so attracted uh, to Pete Davidson? I love him. Oh. But he has a new he has a new special that came out. I haven't watched it yet, so we'll see if it's any good. Hmm. But it's called it's probably just really offensive. Yeah, probably. Um, he was in Dude, why can't I find it? Why is why is IMDB being so hard for me today? King of Stat, uh, King, no, King of Staten Island, was that it? No, that wasn't it. Big Time Adolescence, yeah. Big Time Adolescence. So this was forever ago, holy moly. It was, I actually really liked the movie, but anyway, we go to it, and then afterwards they have a QA, and a and it's like Pete Davidson, and like the whole, the whole cast, and Who's Machine there? Gun Kelly's there. Yeah, that's oh my what gosh, they do at okay. Sundance. Yeah, it's really, oh. really cool. Sundance is really cool because it's like a, di a big display of movies. And then mm -hmm. like, uh, oh my gosh, Sydney Sweeney was there too. It was like one of her first movies. But, she's um, big time now. Yeah, she's big time now. I forgot about that. But yeah, she was, she was in that movie and she was there. And yeah, that's the cool thing about Sundance is it's like people go there to premiere and hopefully get bought. So a lot of movies get bought to like Hulu mm -hmm. or Netflix or whatever. And I remember specifically that this movie wasn't getting bought. And I was like, wait, I liked it so much. And then it finally got bought like a year later or something. And it came out and it was like not as good as I remembered it. So I was a little sad, but it was still okay. Check it out. Mm -hmm. if you haven't. We're, this is a movie podcast now. We talk about movies. But yeah. anyway, we're watching, we're watching the movie. Q and A at the end. And, uh, I forget what happened, but someone asked Pete Davidson a question. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to spend the weekend here. Or something. People, someone was like, how do you like Utah? And he's like, I'm going to spend the weekend here. And then, uh, and then Taylor was like, that means Machine Gun Kelly is going to spend the weekend here. And like, maybe they just like, maybe they want to hang out. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll hang out with us. And I was like, I don't, I don't think they will. And she's like, what if I, what if I just DM him? And I was like, okay, I'm yeah, down for yeah, a good no. story. Mm -hmm. So she takes out her phone. She DMs, she DMs Machine Gun Kelly on Instagram, which is so fucking funny that to this so day. Funny. 
she DMs Machine Gun Kelly and she's like, hey, oh, what are you doing tonight? Going to any of the after parties at Sundance? Would love to hook up. Hook up. Like, she didn't mean it like that, but would love to. Like, it but sounds aggressive. Maybe she did. Regardless, he didn't reply. No, how could I he? Know. Was he but with Megan funny. Fox at the time? No. No. I believe he was single at the time. Dang. Yeah. Well, at least she can say she tried. That's important. Yeah. And maybe <laughs> maybe he'll find those DMs one day. Can Megan Fox? It? Yeah. Wait, aren't they not together now? They come crawling back. I have no clue. I don't remember. Generally, I don't know. No I don't know anything. Didn't Will really like Saltburn? I don't know. He. I only asked because he did like his hot sauce photo shoot and he did a salt burn shoot kind of oh did he it was there's a bad i don't think up. he i don't think he really liked it i mean he just oh. likes films so it, i mean it's a beautiful film so maybe he liked that part of it like the film yeah. bro part of it Interesting. i'm not sure entirely um i saw a film i went to the movies a couple when? days ago i saw migration wow it's in theaters the animated now one it's an animated Don't chill movie. for this movie like you're sponsored. It's an animated movie about a group of Mallard, or a family of Mallard ducks. They decide to migrate to Jamaica. Kick-ass movie. So good. You loved it? I loved it. Wow. You More heard me Angry say that Birds? like three times on the phone. Really? Yeah. Because I was talking to you and I was in the car with my boyfriend and he asked me a couple times, like, what, did you like the movie? Did you like it? And I was like, I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Oh, I was not listening to you. Okay. <laughs> Me calling Cutie and being on the phone right after we leave the movie and her just sitting on the phone and not listening to me while I'm in the car with my boyfriend after the movie. For what? <laughs> <laughs> for what? And for what? That's funny. <laughs> it was a really good movie. I liked it. Going to the movies is fun. I wish I did that more, but I do not. Since this is movie, this is a movie podcast right now, the shade happening online over Mean Girls. So Mean Girls is interesting. And I wish somebody, it, if some, it wasn't a musical, I feel like I'd be hyped. Well, we need to watch. You have never watched the original, right? Right. Yeah. So we're, that's on I our don't list, think but. so. Look, if I if mean? it turn if we watch the movie and it turns out and I'm like, oh, actually, I think I have seen this before. Then I'm sorry in advance. But it's been a really long time if I've seen it and I don't recall seeing it. That's my final oh. answer. I feel like you would know if you've seen this movie. I know I know the actresses in it and I know some of their names, but I don't rem I don't know what happens. I know there's a new girl in school and they're mean to her and then she becomes popular or something. You would you would know like some of the iconic lines. I know you can't sit with us cuz it's printed on a bunch of cheap Do you clubs. know like she made out with a hot dog? No. See, then you you haven't seen it. Do you know butter is a carb? Yes. Oh, really? Uh-oh. Huh. Give me another one. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. This is our test. This is our test. Okay, 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 okay. Do Mean Girls trivia. I ace it. Okay, yeah. I uh, Lindsay Lohan's in it, and I think her name's Katie. Yep, yeah, it is. And she came from, like, South Africa. Okay, then maybe you've seen it. Okay, one second. Let me, I need like a BuzzFeed quiz. Take our Mean Girls super fan quiz. Okay, here you go. That's me. Um, which of these is not a rule of the plastics? No scrunchies. You can't wear a tank top two days in a row. You can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. You can only wear jeans or track pants on Fridays. I have no idea. Really? Scrunchies. They can wear scrunchies. That's allowed. You're right. Okay. <laughs> You're a Mean Girls fan. I am. I'm a super fan. Why did Katie's family move to Illinois? Her mom got offered tenure at Northwestern. Her parents wanted to move closer to their ill grandmother. They wanted Katie to be socialized in America. Her dad became the head of Africa studies at the University of Illinois' Urbana campaign. Her grandmother. I have no idea. 
No. It wasn't right. It was her mom got offered Northwestern. Okay, what about okay? Uh what what portmanteau portmanteau? What's that word? What? Port portmanteau? What portmanteau does Katie accidentally create when she asks Aaron to come to the Halloween party? Fossum, hunty, grandtastic, or gruel? I don't think I've seen this movie. I give up. I have not I have no mm -hmm. idea. Okay, what is, what, here's just, these questions are too deep cut, I feel. Um, what about, uh, what day did Aaron Samuels ask what date it was? I only want to say Wednesday because I feel like I've seen that printed. No, October, October 3rd. Or October 6th, I don't really remember. What? Yeah. <laughs> on October, right, it's, it's like on October 3rd, Aaron Samuels asked me what day it was. And then he goes, what day is it? She goes, October 3rd. It might be October 6th, though. I'm dyslexic, so I'm not really good at that. Let me see. Yeah, October 3rd. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, anyway, I don't know. We'll watch it one of these days, and then you'll know for sure. But the the shady thing that happened, I, apparently, so the original Mean Girls came out, and then the new one got made, and it got it was made on broadway right it got adapted to broadway amazing blah blah and then this new one that's out now is the broadway version as a movie the cool thing about the lead that plays regina renee rap is she Love. played regina on broadway that's cool for like years mm -hmm. so it's like really cool to like i love when they do that compared like if indina menzel is not playing whatever the bitch in wicked we're upset Dude, her voice is <laughs> yeah crazy so is Renee Rapp's yeah. though. Renee Rapp is a crazy yeah. voice. Renee I listen Rapp's to her music voice is insane. often. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that. It's, but it's yeah, really so she, she was on Broadway forever. But there's this one girl who plays. Uh, I think she plays Gretchen Wieners, and her voice apparently. Uh, I'm just. Or no, maybe it's Karen. I'm not sure. Apparently, all the girls on TikTok are comparing the Broadway version to the movie soundtrack version and one of the girls cannot sing worth shit, and it's so fucking mean the tiktoks Aww. there's so many tiktoks like comparing they're like this is why you shouldn't hire this is why you shouldn't hire like non-broadway singers for broadway adaptions and there are adaptations and they're all just like fucked up and mean that's sad and i saw one of those for. for renee they were like Renee on Broadway in 2020 versus Renee in this movie now. And everyone was talking about how much better Broadway was. And I thought that the movie was better. So I don't That's know. Interesting. I don't get it. People are just haters. They can't take, they can't take the talent. You got to knock them out. Actually, that works. Um, if you want to make your flame glow brighter, then you just have to blow everyone else's out. So. I also never realized how much, like, I like musicals. I like going to Broadway shows. You know, I was a bit of a theater kid. I didn't realize how snobby, like, sorry if you're one of these people, how snobby, like, theater people are. Because, mm. like, I, listen, I was on a plane ride and I watched Dear Evan Hansen for the first time. And within 10 minutes, I was sobbing, like, audibly. And I haven't, I don't do that often. It was crazy, especially media. Like I, even the funniest movie, Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I don't laugh. I don't laugh audibly. I say like, mm -hmm. even to people most of the time, I say that was funny or, right. oh, you're funny or that's mm -hmm. funny. I just don't laugh. Um, I'm not, I'm not very reactionary, but first 10 minutes of Dear Evan Hansen, I'm sobbing my eyes out. Don't even it's a little me. long and a little redundant after that part. I get it. But like, it was still a very good movie and i want to see it in person i want to see the broadway but i like said that one time on stream and so many people were like ill you liked dear evan hansen and i'm like what the fuck and they're like oh well it's like there's like nepotism because like the director and the main guy ben platt is like his nephew or something like that and i'm like yeah but he was good at the role so like shut the fuck up like it none of that matters it was still a good it was still a good story like it whatever anyway mm. but i think this is a perfect example of like theater broadway people being a little too aggro yeah a little too I've, gatekeepy i've never had an experience with uh -oh. broadway people but i did My sound just broke used to have experiences second. with theater kids and some of them were really really great and in, in a weird way but in like a really great way some of them sucked so what i missed it my audio cut out 
theater kids, like in middle school, oh. high school, some of them were like the best and some of them sucked. Do you want to hear the worst? So I was a theater kid. What? Really? I started. I guess that doesn't spread. You didn't know this? I didn't know that. Oh my God. I was, I was like such a theater kid, like bad. So it started oh. when I was in third grade. I found this little theater program that I found a flyer on a tree and they were doing the Wizard of Oz and I took it home to my dad and I asked if I could be in it and it cost $20 for the whole thing. It was like this kid's program and I was so excited and he takes me to, you know, the thing and it was like every Wednesday we had practice or whatever and then it came to auditions and I was like, I'm like eight, so I'm too little for Dorothy, but I had dreams of being Dorothy, like, right? Mm -hmm. It was the biggest dreams in the world. And then right before the day of auditions, we got a message saying that our group was too small and it disbanded and we'd have to drive to a different city. Ah, I know, but so my, my family being dope, they, they drive me to a different city. Uh, it was like 20 minutes away. And, but that one had already been casted. No, your dreams. So I show up and I, I just get the role of like an Ozite, right? Okay. Whatever. Fifth grade comes around and, uh, or sixth grade, it was sixth grade. I'm still in the same theater program, the one 20 minutes away. I think we did, I, <laughs> I was always been in theater. I'm not good at it though. I'm actually a really awful actress, genuinely. I'm really bad I would be, and I know it. I would be such a bad actress. It would be yeah. painful to watch me try to do that. Yeah. I agree. I wish I was good at it, but I'm just simply not. But so fifth grade or sixth grade comes around. I'm still in this program. We had done like in fourth grade. I think we did Peter Pan. I got the role of the dog. Sick. So look out. Uh, the next year uh, we did Beauty Be Beauty and the Beast. I got the role of the the hot, um, the hot. Uh, hot. No, the like she's the hot one in Beauty and the Beast, not Belle. I didn't get the main. She's super hot. Right. She's like I don't think Lumiere has a crush on her. She's I, the I dust. The she's the duster. Okay. I got the role of the hot duster, so it's kind of flattering, but not a main. I was an inanimate <laughs> object, so you know, pretty good. Sixth grade comes around. It's Annie. We're doing Annie, but at that point You're in the eight, in the theater, no, I was too old so. to be Annie my age group. So I got Lily. I didn't even get Miss Hanne Heinegan or whatever her name was, Miss Hannigan. I got Lily Peacock's or Rooster's girlfriend. I sang a song. I did have a solo, which was big for wow. me. Wow. But, but my school goes and perform, or my theater program actually would do one performance at an elementary school and luck of the draw, they were doing my elementary school. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I'm going to be a so star. Cool. Yeah. So we do our program and then turns out one of the sixth grade teachers also runs a dance and acting program on the side of being a teacher. And so okay. she comes and finds me she and she's like, Hey, you. she's like, summer's happening. Guess what? We're doing wizard of Oz. And I am so excited. Now's I love wizard of Oz. Your time. So now is my time Oz to shine. Either. Really? Yeah. I don't, it doesn't but actually, I think it's just a nostalgia pick for me. The anniversary is coming up soon of it. Yeah. It was made in, well, 1939. So I don't know which anniversary. Besides. Just so the you day, were Dorothy? No. So I go to, audi I go to the first day of class. I go to the first day of class. And this is how I found out the theater program I was in was dog Cause I go to the first day of crash. She hands me a script and she goes, read, will you read for Dorothy? We're just doing a room read. Yeah. I never heard the sentence room read before. Yeah. What the fuck? That's crazy. This was like a real theater program. The one I was in was like fucking Mickey mouse theater program. Uh -huh. It was awful. And so I'm like, yeah. And she gives it to me, but I don't want to be, I don't want to try hard. I don't want to come off as that girl got here on my first day. I'm reading for Dorothy. So I'm just like, I'm just supposed to read it. I'm right. not going to act it out and be a try hard. Yeah. So then I got the role of a f***ing tree because I didn't realize that was my audition. That's so sad. I know. I'm sorry. When it's I okay. was in summer school, I was in a play and I, requ I requested the role of the tree. And I was Why? Because I didn't want to talk. What play was it? Momotaro. <laughs> What's that? The Peach Boy. It was in Japanese school. 
I don't want to speak life, Japanese. I wanted to be the main character. Japanese. Oh, it was yeah. in Japanese. That makes more sense. Yeah, and I was like, I'll pass on that. Just I just want to be a tree. I believe I had one more opportunity to be Dorothy, but I forgot it. I forgot what it was, but I didn't Have get that Have you been Dorothy for either. Halloween? What is that? Yeah. Uh, it's beet juice. <laughs> it's fine. That's better than tomato juice. Do you drink tomato juice? No. That concept to me is so gross. The concept of a Bloody Mary to me is foul. I, I can't, I cannot fathom drinking like a savory cocktail. It grosses me out. You can't really taste the beets because it has pineapple juice in it too and ginger and stuff. Beets are good for you. It's good. Yeah, it helps your nails grow. Look how long my nails are. Oh, wow. Anyway. Wahoo. Um, this is my deep, dark secret. Okay. In junior high. For the Patreon? <laughs> I guess we're going to tell the Patreon. <laughs> See it's you something that happened there. in junior high, so you know it's going to be crazy. Don't forget to vote for Streamer Awards. Voting starts today. Oh, fun. Also, uh, if you want to... Sorry, not Streamer Awards related. Oh, but, unless you're um, on Patreon, actually. I just realized if you're watching this on Patreon, it starts tomorrow. <laughs> oh. It starts um, on Wednesday. Oh. Uh, we watched 500 Days of Summer. Mm -hmm. Um, that's on the Patreon too. If you want, if you want to watch a movie, we watched the whole thing. It was good. It was good. But we'll see you over there. Bye, see guys. You for deep Thanks dark for watching. Your high secret. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. So I had a, a boyfriend at one point that randomly, all of a sudden, the air out of his nose smelled so bad. Like, so we'd be okay. kissing and then like the smell from his nose breathing out smelled so bad that I was like, so hey, weird. I cannot like stay in the moment because it's like, it's, it's whatever. So he'd go did like he... brush his teeth and that wouldn't fix it. So he had, did he have like an infection? Well, so then he would, he would use a neti pot and clean out his sinuses and then it'd go away. And so he went I've to like an ear, nose and throat that. doctor. I yeah. mean, I had never before, but he went to an ear, nose and throat doctor and they like looked for polyps because I guess that can happen when you have polyps in your, in your nostril. Um, but they were like, oh no, there's no polyps. You just like, just flush it with a neti pot. It should go away eventually. And it did, but it was so awkward for like the few months that I was there.